So I get a lot of flack about you're telling people to eat shitty foods. You're telling people to eat pop tarts and donuts and cookies and of course cinnamon toast crunch. Fuck yeah I am. But here's the reality of it. I'm also telling people, hey, don't be an asshole. You need to eat some fruits and vegetables. You need to get your protein. You can't eat all shitty foods. You can't eat all lesser quality, unhealthy foods and still eat the proper amount of protein over the course of the day. Let's be real. I want you guys living in that 80-20. 80% of your foods should be foods that we've been brought up, foods that we've been told by our parents, the government, your friends, that they're good for you. Foods that are nutritious. When people are saying eat good foods, eat good healthy or high quality foods, what they're really saying are eat foods with a lot of vitamins and nutrients. Foods with things like vitamin A and calcium and fiber, etc. Broccoli has that shit in it. Cabbage, kale, bananas, etc. Things like Pop-Tarts and Cinnamon Toast Crunch, while they taste amazing, they make my heart go pitter-patter, maybe they don't have quite as much nutritional value to them. But I'm telling you, here's the big picture. Here's where people are ignorant to what I'm trying to do. People will say, that's not healthy. But you know what's not healthy? Not giving a fuck about what you're eating. So I would rather you figure out where some of those lesser nutritious foods fit in if that's what keeps you going tomorrow and next week and the week after. So I am okay with some of those bad foods. That's where I'm different. I want you to. You need to weigh and measure. You need to know how much you're putting in your body. But yeah, I tell people when I started flexible eating and I went from 170 pounds all the way down to 135 pounds, I ate like an asshole. What that means is the majority of my carbohydrates came from one food group. That food group was Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But I still lost weight. I still felt great. Still looked good in the mirror. The scale moved. PR'd my Fran time. Snatched more than I ever had from eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But I say I was eating like an asshole because, yeah, if I would have continued that forever, I probably would have gotten scurvy because I wasn't getting any vitamin C. So although you can lose weight, although you can look good, although you can feel great, although your pants will be fitting better, we still need to be smart enough to know we need some nutrition in our lives. Eat good quality foods. Try to live 80-20. Try to get fruits and vegetables the majority of your day and enjoy an indulgence at the end of the day. And some days that 80-20 might look more like 50-50. There are days where mine look like 20-80. But over the course of a week, a month, a year, I know I'm trying to get good quality foods in. I don't want you guys to think Jason Ackerman, the Flexible Eating Nation, is about developing scurvy. It's about eating good foods, but it's about eating the foods you love as well, and eating those foods while having the body you want, looking your best, feeling absolutely amazing. Don't let the haters get you down. Enjoy life, but be smart about it. Peace. Have a good weekend.